Friends, Jess E. from Colorado says, I love that the angel membership has opened me to possibilities I thought I could only imagine or dream about. I started because I was searching for answers and healing from grief and the guilt surrounding the loss. The membership gave me a spiritual home base, helped me heal the inner hurts, and gave me a way to connect with my loved ones and spirit team that I didn't know was possible. I'm so grateful spirit led me to Julie and allowed me to find faith, connection, and healing in my own way. Jess, I'm so excited that spirit led us to one another too. Thank you so much for being in the angel membership. Beautiful soul, have you ever wanted to speak to angels? Do you believe angels can support you in your daily life? If this is you, go to my website homepage, theangelmedium.com and sign up for my weekly angel message email. As a gift for signing up, I'm giving you access to free resources, including 31 healing meditations that, if you do daily, are going to help you hear your angels and your own intuition more clearly. Start using these today and you'll see changes in 31 days. Now, take a deep breath. Feel the presence of your angels as they fill you with love, joy, peace, bliss, and ease. And remember, your angels say the messages that resonate with you in today's episode are meant just for you. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Angels and Awakening podcast. I'm your host and author, Julie Jancis. And today I have a very, very exciting episode. You know that every year, the first Monday in January, we bring through all the angel messages, right? Everything that the angels say is coming up within the new year. Um, and this year, there's so much coming through that the angel said we had to split it up into two episodes, the beginning of December and the beginning of January. And this is very purposeful by the angels for you, because what they wanted to do in today's episode is bring through the biggest angel messages that have come through to me in 2022 because they're going to lead us into it's almost like these two episodes tie together right this episode today and then the first monday in january we'll put up all that you can expect to come in the future in 2023 um with what the angels say is is coming that year but when it comes to today's episode what i want you to know is that at no point in today's episode are we talking about big T trauma. We're talking about all little T trauma today. Um, I mean, everything that we're talking about refers to little T trauma. And the other thing that I want you to know is that when we say healing or when I say healing, any time on this podcast, and I've said this before, but I just want to remind you here, it's all regarding your spiritual healing because we've all heard the saying, you are a soul having a physical experience here on earth. And that is so true. And what does that mean? It means that your spirituality, you returning to your soul and your soul's energy and your soul's consciousness, which, which is your intuition, is a big part of why we're here on this earth and your spiritual health is so incredibly important here's the other thing that i want you to remember when it comes to earth realm earth school that we are all in right here right now there isn't one healer on earth today that has every single answer that has every single thing figured out what spirit says is that every healer here on earth today every human being here on earth today has a piece of the puzzle and that when we healers work together and i consider you a healer right you are listening at home and you're like julie i feel like i'm a healer but i haven't stepped into that role yet 
friend, you are still a healer, right? And I am talking about you. So sometimes bringing through angel messages throughout the year looks more like questions that are arising within you. Spirit has placed these questions on your heart. And as we dive in today, a lot of those questions that have been on my heart and the answers that I've come to because I have brought these questions to so many other healers out there and they're like, oh, this is good. Um, that's one thing that I'm most proud of when it comes to this podcast. You'll hear a lot throughout all of the episodes. Um, it warms my heart so much when a guest says, oh, Julie, that's a great question. Because what I try and do with this podcast is not ask all of the same questions that people ask these folks who are on all of the podcasts all of the time. I want you to get fresh information from them, right? So when a guest says to me, Julie, that's a great question. Let's explore that together. That just makes my heart just do jumping, you know, or um, flip flops, right? Like I just love it so incredibly much. Um, some of you in the past, and I'm just gonna call a duck a duck here, um, because this one hurts my heart a little bit, are like, Julie, um, in December, I don't like how you talk about the angel membership on the podcast. Friends, the angel membership is what funds me doing the podcast and the angel membership and the angel Reiki school. And when you book a session with me, it helps fund me doing this podcast. It helps fund um, the production, right? Because I can't do this all alone and I have to hire people to help me. Helps me fund the Intuitive Kids podcast, helps me fund the world's largest prayer network that we run. And so I um, am incorporating and weaving in to the biggest angel messages where there's an overlap because these angel messages that have been coming in all year long are what we're diving into a lot deeper within the angel membership next year so what my intention is for you in this podcast today is for you to walk away with some really really big aha moments for yourself and some really big questions that your angels want you to be asking yourself but at the same time, I'm also going to be diving into parts of the angel membership and explaining what we're going to be doing next year. And if you're one of those people who are like, Julie, I just don't want to hear about your products and services. No problem. I am sending from my heart chakra to yours so much love, so much gratitude for you. And um, maybe this episode isn't for you. Maybe a different episode would be better. But um, my intent is for everybody to walk away with some just delicious nuggets of information. So <clears throat> let's start here. One of the biggest um, aha moments that I had was I was taking a walk with a, a group of um, women that I live near this summer. We're walking down this prairie path, this kind of um, rocky path, and I looked down and I saw this most gorgeous feather that I had ever seen. And I immediately after seeing the feather, right, we see the sign and we go, oh, it's a sign. Immediately after seeing the feather, I knew I had a secondary intuition response within me. So first response, see the feather, know it's spirit trying to communicate. But he, here's where a lot of people stop, right? A lot of us see the signs. 111 on the clock, you see the feather, you see the cardinals in the tree, you see this or that, and you go, oh, this is my loved one. And what Spirit said to tell all of you here today is that oftentimes, if you get really tuned in to the body, body's energy, you're going to have a secondary response to the sign that you see. And so, I saw the feather that day 
and you know the the ladies around me are talking you know and yet my intuition is just loud and clear sign from the other side feather and then there's a this immediate secondary response and i see um a woman that i know who i'm close with who has been trying to get pregnant and hasn't had the luck that she wanted and and she still wants that baby so bad to come in and babies and i knew i had this this response within my entire physical body where i knew from head to toe she's going to be pregnant like it is soon this is happening asap and like this is her baby this is her family like and i could just start to cry right now because i felt it so palpably like this is hers and um i ended up finding out that she is pregnant and i just know i just know that this soul coming through is is hers right is her beautiful beautiful baby um and so spirit said to bring the story to you because oftentimes when it comes to you in your life there is a secondary response and i know that we've talked about it before where you have the four clairs right clear seeing clear hearing clear knowing clear feeling and a lot of times when you go through different spiritual classes i personally feel like many spiritual teachers put too much emphasis on which clair do you have most because all of the clairs work together in synchronicity and when you're really really dialed in tuned in to the energy within your body you often start to see a process unfolding within you and listen this process can be different every single time it happens so maybe you see something first like i saw the feather and then you get this knowingness oh my gosh this baby is coming through and it is for this person and and like yay i'm so excited i just want to go hug her and celebrate because everything she wanted is coming through but maybe when you in your life are getting messages maybe it comes through a different way for you maybe you get the feeling first and then you see the vision maybe you get a knowingness within your body look outside the window and then you see the cardinals and then a vision comes in of the goal that you want to achieve and you put together the puzzle pieces that spirit is trying to show you aha this is what they're trying to tell me it's on its way i am going to achieve this goal i want you to see here that when we shut ourselves down by just seeing the sign and going yes yeah, spirit thank you for that sign you're kind of missing out your angels say on tuning in and going deeper with them and feeling that next piece of intuitive information coming in about that sign so here's what the angels say everything that we're talking about today you know something might resonate with you not everything take what resonates with you today and what they want you to do is marinate on this question or this tool that i'm talking about today and marinate on it all month whatever resonates with you marinate on it all month because spirit is giving you pieces of it today and then you might put it together even more so after you're marinating on it and seeing this show up for you in your own life and if that's the case i want to be part of your process email me or like um over on instagram dm me over at angel podcast if you're like julie i know exactly what you're saying and have you thought about it this way i love having those conversations with people um okay because like i said before healers don't have all of the answers we're supposed to be talking about the things that are coming through and then working together to put together all of the puzzle pieces and through us working together having that bigger aha moment um <clears throat> the next big angel message that i received in 2022 
was spirit stopped me one day and they said um what does it mean to actually work through something what does it mean to actually do your spiritual work what does it mean to be present in the moment and be learning a divine lesson because we often talk about getting spiritually healthy and um and so they kind of brought it around in this way and what they said is being a spiritual person so i just want you to really feel into this within your physical body being a spiritual person and being spiritually healthy you could be a completely healthy person you have done your work on your body you have done your work on your mind you have done your spiritual work you are spiritually healthy and you can still have something that happens in life, a situation, somebody says something to you, somebody does something, and you are triggered within your body. And we all know this energy of being triggered, right? When you are triggered, what happens is you feel it in your body, oh, to the nth degree. When I'm triggered, and these are triggers just from the past year, I've had triggers where I feel just angry from head to toe. I've had triggers where I just cry and, and I'm just sad from head to toe. Triggers can make you feel different emotions. It's just that the emotion is so overwhelming. It's like this huge cloud that's bigger than the size of your body and you don't want it to be there you just want that emotion or that energy to be out of your system and so what does it mean to actually work some through something what does it mean to work on your spirituality what does it mean to be in the moment and be learning a divine lesson it means that instead of wishing that anger or that frustration or that sadness away you feel it and and you kind of um i'm thinking back to a time this year where i felt really angry and at something that happened um and instead of wishing that anger away i allowed myself to be in the cloud of that anger and i allowed myself to ask myself questions and one of the first things that would come up is my inner child's here and she is so sad because um this relates to something else that has happened to me in the past and it's a wound for me right so again spirituality doesn't stop you from feeling pain it doesn't stop life from hurting us at times but it gives us different tools to work with the challenge that's at hand in the moment and instead of wishing that challenge away what we start to do as spiritually healthy people is look at it like one step after another I want to give a big thank you to Jenna Kutcher for recommending me as the top intuition and manifestation coach. Because of her, I'm featured in this month's issue of Goss Magazine. If you'd like to work with me, join my angel membership. A whole new year of content and live events begins January 1st. The biggest impact I've seen is the angel membership has helped countless people move from feeling stuck, grief-stricken, frustrated, anxious, lonely, or depressed to feeling constant support, joy, love, bliss, ease, and peace because it's like they learn the angelic secrets to living life. I've watched so many souls take the tools in the membership and manifest the perfect relationship, the job they desire, or that special something that's been calling to them within their heart. So if your angels have been calling you to join the angel membership, 
That is a message. They're saying to you, hey, we know where you're going and we're trying to help you get there, but you need these tools in the angel membership to do so. If you need a scholarship, friends, a link is in the show notes below. If you want more info and a special promotion, use the link in the show notes to register for a discovery call this week. Don't miss the most transformative year of your life. Angel members, we start a whole new year together as a community on January 1st. Register today at theangelmedium.com. Okay, I'm just going to keep walking my life one step after another. And I know that as I take one step forward after another, God is going to bring to me and reveal to me what I need to learn within this. And so as I'm allowing myself to feel the emotions that I'm feeling, and I am asking myself questions, right? Going deeper within myself, asking myself a variety of different questions. We end up moving to a point of awareness. And that point of awareness, or you could call it a point of clarity or a new evolved point of consciousness. It is something more in, uh, evolved conscious wise than our consciousness was before. And it's very much ingrained within our society. Um, you think about it this way. When you get sick or your family members get sick, there's been so many times in my life where I'm like, no, no one can have a cold right now. No one can have the flu right now. No one can get sick right now. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for anybody to be sick. Um, a lot of times that is the way that we look at spiritual matters divine lessons as they first arise within our lives you feel that initial trigger within your physical body and you're like no uh god you don't understand i don't have time for this like i don't have time to learn that lesson right now i got all this other stuff you've asked me to do and i gotta get to work on it and god's like no you don't understand. You can't do that work that's in front of you until you learn the lesson that I have laid out right before you. You have to learn this lesson before you can get where you're going in life. And so when it comes to how do you work through something? How do you be in the moment and learn a divine lesson? You're present with the emotion you're feeling. You're present and you're conscious and you're aware and you're asking yourself more questions. You're asking your spirit team more questions. You're asking God more questions. And you're allowing yourself and your spirit team and God patience knowing that it's not going to be revealed to you on your timeline just like you don't get healthy after a cold um, on your timeline it has to happen in god's timeline and so when you continue to follow the breadcrumbs in life what ends up happening is you do get to that revelation that increase in your consciousness that heightened awareness of your life and from that point you have two choices okay i didn't know this before in my life but now i do and from this point am i consciously present enough to allow this new information that god has brought through me to from this divine lesson Am I present, aware, tuned in enough to allow this new information to change me, to modify how I act in life? Or 
Am I just rush, 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 too busy for God's lessons for me, and I'm sweeping this under the rug, and I'm not changing my life based on the revelation God just brought to my doorstep. That's what divine lessons are. God is bringing a revelation to your doorstep not to hurt you, not to make you feel bad about yourself, not to feel like you have to have more on your plate, more work to do. I see God as my mentor. And I see my mentors in life as people who are 5, 10, 15, 50, 100 steps in front of me. They have walked the path, right? And a lot of times, um, this was one of my biggest, I'm taking a side tangent over here. Um, one of my biggest prayers for 2022 is I went to God at the beginning of 2022 and I said, listen, I know I don't judge a lot, or I think I don't judge a lot, but I want to not judge at all. Like I want to have zero judgmental thoughts. And I want you to help me get to that place this year. Anytime I judge anything, I want you to show me God and help me remove that from within myself. And I really thought, <laughs> I thought that it would look like me going through life and catching myself judging someone in my thoughts and um and then not doing that as much but what it actually looked like was god showed me how easy it is for me as a doer in this world to look at other people who are ahead of me and think to myself why aren't they doing it this way? Why aren't they doing it this way? Why aren't they doing it this way? And instead of the way that I thought God was going to bring in this lesson to my life, God walked me through a series of really, really uh, charged triggers this year lessons, situations, challenges. It was two really big ones um, where what God was trying to show me couldn't be worked out through my thoughts. I had to feel it. And what ended up happening is people who um, are judging me, it was through people who are judging me that don't realize why I do things the way that I do. It was through the lesson of other people judging me that I realized where I judge other people who are ahead of me. And I question, you know, why do they, why don't they do it this way? They have a reason. And what I learned, one of the biggest lessons this year is not all of humanity, but right, like 95 to 97% of all humanity has a reason for every single action that they take. And if a person's taking an action, they've really thought it through a lot of times. And if a person is knowing the reason why they're doing what they're doing, those people who are ahead of me have more knowledge. They have more information. They have gone through more of life, more of life's challenges, more of life's experiences. And they have all of this collective information, which is helping them make the decisions that they're, they're making. And the angels are saying to tell you this, maybe this will help bring in more clarity. I was the person in my 20s and in my younger 30s who would be in the office space and be questioning the bosses above me. Well, why are they doing this in this way? And why are they um, always kind of feeling myself like I had it more figured out, like I knew better and um, cocky little thing right back then. Um, 
and I didn't. And it's taken me all this time to get to this place of no judgment where I had to learn through others judging, well, Julie, why don't you do things this way or why don't, I have a reason for it. I have a reason for every single thing that I do. Um, but it was through God walking me through that. And I'm so thankful for that. I am so incredibly thankful for these two really powerful lessons that God brought through to me this year. Um, that I am more so at a place of peace within myself, a place of confidence, a place of love for every single human being on earth. Um, even those who don't understand why I do what I do, I really truly have gotten to this place within myself where I don't have anything but love for them. And this is not the same in any way, shape, or form. Um, it's just a similar feeling. That's the only comparison that I'm making. It's kind of this feeling like when Jesus was on the cross. And again, I'm not saying I am on a cross. Um, I don't feel that way in any shape or form. But when Jesus said, God, forgive them, they know not what they do. There is a feeling to judgment that I have completely released. And instead, I feel like people just know not what they do and um, and where it hurts. And I've released all of the hurt and all of the pain. All right, so I'm rambling here, but that was the lesson. We were talking about what does it mean to work through something? And I think you got the picture now, right? Like that's that's what it takes to work through something. Um, you have to follow the breadcrumbs and you have to allow the lesson to change you. You have to allow God to bring in a different energy to your physical being. And um, a lot of this lesson came through too, starting in fall of 2021, when I developed a vocal disorder and my voice coach is always like, Julie, you have to remember you are a vocal athlete. You talk all the time. People do not talk as much as you do. And um, that vocal disorder took me into somatic work. And if you're not familiar with somatic work, but you know what your intuition is, right? Like all healing work starts with you understanding your intuition, because if you can't hear your soul self, you can't hear your intuition, you can't follow your divine life plan. And if you're not following your divine life plan, you're not allowing your spirit team and God and your angels and your loved ones on the other side to lead you. So, no matter which way or angle you look at it from, all of spiritual healing begins with you listening to your intuition. And somatic work is different. So you, you all know I'm a teacher. That's one of my spiritual gifts. And I teach a lot through examples, stories that have, or experiences that have happened to me or to others around me or in sessions. But somatic work is a different way of coming into your intuition, not through the mind and trying to comprehend something in an educational way, but through listening to the signals and the signs and the aha moments that are actually happening within your physical body. And there is a way of listening to the physical body that allows you to become an even more intuitive person. It kind of takes your intuition to an entirely new level. So what the angel said is that 2023, um, they're calling that uh, in the angel membership, the year of ease and healing the whole you, mind, body, and spirit. 
And the way that we're doing that, the way that we're keeping you in a vibration of ease all year long, and the way that we're helping bring you to the intuition through the physical body and that listening to your body really goes deep and again, helps you take you to like an entirely new level of, of intuitive nature within yourself, but also helps you bring yourself into a completely different vibration. And I just want you to notice within your vibration right now, within yourself, just notice how your entire body feels calm. Your entire body feels relaxed. Your entire body feels at ease. Almost like there's just like this melting, yummy, grounded energy within you that the angels are helping show and attune you to right now. That's the energy I want to teach you through um, the angel membership, how to hold that energy always, right, throughout your life. And there is a way to do that. So in 2023, in the angel membership, we are bringing in, um, the last two years has all been me speaking and you'll still have access to all of those past recordings, workshops, healings, courses. Um, there's hundreds of hours, <laughs> literally, there are hundreds of hours of me talking in there. Um, we're bringing you no, now different guests expert faculty speakers. We're bringing in people to show you different types of healing. We have um, a person on the team who's going to come in and we're going to work with intuitive eating. We're going to work with different forms of somatic work. We're going to work with hypnotherapy. We're going to try sound therapy. We're going to try, I mean, the list is so long. Listen, there's like dozens of things that we're bringing in for you to try um, so that you see what type of healing modalities really resonate with you, what you love, what you don't love. And you're getting to hear from so many different guest expert speakers who have a very different perspective on spirituality. I, I don't look at people I'm bringing into the program through any other lens of like, who does spirit want to be teaching in the angel membership? And spirit has brought in exactly who you need to know. Some of them you've never heard of before. They just um, are people whose spirit has brought into my life. And some of them are huge, but the people I'm bringing to you, the, the experts are the most loving beings who live in just this highest form of oneness. And they have solved within their own lives and develop tools and systems that are helping people heal and go very deeply within themselves. So I'm excited for you to get to try all these different healing modalities and, and hear from so many new people. And again, I'll be right there with you. Um, I'm going to be talking to these folks and bringing them to you and um, sharing. You know, here's one example. Let me get this paper. <clears throat> We're going to be talking about um, intuitive eating, intuitive movement. There's a whole thing that we're going to go into next year on flexibility. You might not understand this, but what, what the angels say is that the meridian systems of energy within your body are real. And if you don't know what the meridian system is, think of your body as like a highway of energy. So there's a highway of energy that starts in your head, runs in a circle around your head, down your neck, down your shoulder, down one arm, back up the arm, down the torso, down the leg, to the foot, back up to the abdomen, back down to the other foot, back up the torso to, you know, um, your other shoulder, down one arm, up the other, you know, up that arm, back to the neck, up to the head. And energy runs through your body in these meridian circuits constantly. And one of the things that we're going to be diving into, into the angel membership 
And again, there's dozens of things that you're going to be learning in different healing modalities, but this is just one. If you are not stretching yourself out, you are actually creating a traffic jam of energy. This is what the angels say, and especially Archangel Raphael. You're creating a traffic jam of energy within the joints, which is why so many people have um, more joint stuff going on. So within the elbows, the shoulders, um, the hips, the knees, the ankles, there can be a lot of energy that you're storing there. But when you really um, start to stretch everything out, what it does is breaks up those traffic jams so that the energy flowing within your body can move much more easily, much more smoothly. And you feel it as a difference within your physical body. Whereas um, when you have that traffic jam, you feel more achy, sometimes like a fibromyalgia, um, and when you really start to stretch, you're really alleviating that. So you're feeling a clarity and an ease within the physical body itself. Um, so that's just one way that we're incorporating, you know, spirituality with physical health. And I should say too, you know, um, don't come into the angel membership and say, you know, I have this huge illness and I want to be cured of this. I'm not a doctor. I am not um, a medical professional in any way. What we're talking about is how you bring spirituality and spiritual healing into the physical body, into the mind, into the spirit. And so it's more of a, a spiritual health lens. Um, I am in no way a medical professional. So just throwing that out there. Okay, so this next, you know, big angel message that Spirit brought in in 2022 really ties in a ton to 2023 and where we're going with this podcast and big things that your angels and your spirit team, I know hands down 100% um, are trying to bring into your life. So spirit in meditation one day this year came in and said julie what does whole healing look like like what does it mean to heal yourself wholly fully because in life you know you can't get rid of your egoic mind a hundred percent it's not possible so it's very different to live life if you're living life from the egoic mind a hundred percent or 99 percent or 80 percent that's a much different energy way of living life than living from the egoic mind one percent two percent five percent and and for a lot of us and maybe you can relate to this it starts to feel like we're on this hamster wheel of healing, right? Like, well, I tried this and then, all right, well, I'm going to try this and now I'm going to try this. And, you know, spirit had me talk about with a lot of different guests behind the scenes and I would explore them, uh, this with them. And they were like, Julie, this is awesome. I love this idea. Like, let's go into this deeper. Um, what is whole healing? what what does it look like when you have healed yourself mind body spirit wholly and fully what does life look like when you're living life from that healed place and and you know i know what that is for me but spirit said this is a question that we all need to be asking and answering and that this is a question that i need to be asking of different healers because as i get the answers from different healers um my consciousness is going to evolve your consciousness is going to evolve and we're going to have a much different idea of what our lives should be looking like and and the peace and the ease and the vibration that we should be feeling in our everyday life so 
I am going to be asking this question of all of the podcast guests that I can in 2022 and just know that it might not be in January or February um, because I have all of the podcast episodes recorded about six months in advance. But from the point of spirit coming in and asking this question, I am starting to ask all of the guests on the show. Um, and please remind me if I fall off throughout the year of 2023, we want to continue asking this question because the way that I would answer it right now is part of whole healing and healing fully and holy is stepping into your power. That is a very, very big part of of healing it's reclaiming your power by reclaiming responsibility and reclaiming care for all of the different parts of yourself your energy your time your emotion your actions your vibration your body your mind and and so as you reclaim that power as you reclaim that responsibility and that care we do come through healing in different ways um so in the angel membership that's what we're going to be talking about a lot and diving into and we're going to be answering the questions like so how do you know when you're fully healed um what does a person's like life look like who is wholly healed and once you get to that place of whole healing how do you maintain that state of being um and this is where your angels came in and asked you to marinate on these questions all month as they pertain to you in your life. So what I want you to write down if you can is, am I fully healed? I want you to answer that of yourself this month. Am I fully healed? The next question I want you to answer is, where are you on your spiritual healing journey mind body spirit and i want you to rank each one of those where are you on your journey of healing your mind one to ten um ten being most healed one being least healed where are you on your journey to healing your body one being least healed ten being most healed where are you on your journey of being fully, wholly, spiritually healed? Um, again, 10 being most healed, one being least healed. And then the next question your angels want you to ask, and you, you can go directly to God and ask these questions. You can ask these questions of your spirit team. But the next question is, what is the next step of action I need to take? So just go to God. God, what is the next action step I need to take on my healing journey? And then another question I want you to marinate on this month, and friends, you can even do some automatic writing with this, is what do you want your life to look like when you're fully, wholly healed? So what do you imagine life looking like? What do you feel like you're holding your energy what is your energy like when you're fully and wholly healed and then the last question the angels want you to ask is what will your maintenance phase look like so when you get to that place and you are wholly fully healed what does it look like to maintain that whole healed state of being because i know for me in my life it still looks like having an earthbound spirit team i still have a counselor that i check in with i still have um healers that i work with every year i invest in myself by training more um uh, with kind of like c-suite business opportunities of working with other uh ceos and presidents and learning about running a business every year i invest in myself by learning another piece and going deeper within my own spiritual journey by being the student in somebody else's program and that's what maintenance looks like to me what does maintenance when you are fully wholly healed what does that life look like to you and how are you going to maintain that whole healing so again these are all questions that we're exploring within the angel membership and by the end of 2023 what i want and my intention is that all angel members are are 
healed wholly, right? Mind, body, and spirit um, to be healed wholly or very, very close to it. Um, my goal is for them by the end of the year to know what your life looks like and how it's different when you're wholly healed and to really um, allow yourself to make those changes progressively each month throughout the year. And then how you're going to maintain it. So you're going to get to the end of the year and you're going to know this is exactly how I'm going to maintain my healed state of being. And I really envision for all of my angel members who do the work um, that they get to December 2023. And I want them to see that their mindsets have changed completely positively. I want them to see how the energy in their physical body is completely different because they're listening to it and allowing their body's wisdom and intuition to guide them instead of just sweeping the body's intuitive knowings under the rug. I want people by the end of the year to be so much more in tune with themselves than ever before so that they feel more of their own energy than ever before. And I want people in the angel membership to get to this point of more happiness, joyfulness. They're feeling this peace filling every aspect of their life, feeling in alignment more than ever, ever before. Because to me, that's what it feels like to live a spiritually healthy life. So we're really digging deep into all of these topics in the membership. Um, you're also going to hear me to, like kind of talk surface level about some of these in the podcast. And if you do want to go deep with me in a program that was structured with curriculum, you know, to get you from point A to point Z in 2023, the um, sorry, the angel membership is really, really the way to go. And I know that not everybody um, can do the angel membership. And I hear you the last two years, people are like, Julie, I would love to do this, but this is happening in my life. And this is happening in my life and just these huge challenges. Um, so what we did this year is create a scholarship program. And if you go over to theangelmedium.com, go to angel membership, and then go to the very bottom, you'll see a application where you can fill out a form to receive a scholarship. And we're going to be giving away um, over 50 scholarships. And those are from people who bought an annual membership. And there's still time to do this. So if you purchase the annual membership for all of 2023, you get extra perks and those extra perks are you get a deep discount um, for the entire year since you're paying for it up front. You also get four group coaching sessions with me that we're going to start um, in January. And in addition to those group coaching sessions, um, you also get free courses, the courses that I do in 2023. You won't have to chart like be paying anything extra for those. Um, so this is all for level three and level four only, um, these perks. The other thing is if you purchase the annual angel membership, we are giving um, one person a scholarship or one family, I should say, a scholarship in your name where they'll be in the angel membership all year long. And the other thing that we're doing is a lot of you know that we started the Intuitive Kids podcast this year. Um, we also started a kids membership to go with that podcast. And instead of having to charge people, you know, for a kids membership and an adult membership, we're just including everything together. So when you're in level three or level four, you get access to the kids membership, you get access to um, the regular angel membership. And so it'll be really great if you have kiddos or a kiddo in your life, they can take advantage of that kiddo section as well. If you go to the angel medium.com and then go to the angel membership page, 
you'll see that there's four different levels and I just want to explain this really quick. So level one is 1999 a month and we really just wanted to um there's so many people who listen to this podcast and the intuitive kids podcast and they said julie we really want to support you um at a lower cost each month and so what we did is put together a 1999 a month package where you get dinner questions every week and these are questions that you can use at the dinner table with your family. It's for families with kids and it takes kids into a deeper awareness of themselves. It helps them build a self-identity by pondering these questions. It also helps you as a family have fun, feel connected. Um, so that is level one with the angel membership. If you go to level two, there were some people out there said, Julie, um, I don't have time to take part in the live events. Um, I don't need a community. I just want access to all your old courses and I want access to all of your old workshops. So if you don't want any live events, you don't want any community, level two of the angel membership is just that. It's just you have access to all the old stuff. There's no new content for the new year. Level three is the angel membership as you've always known it before. So level three is the angel membership. If you're a monthly member, um, the cost is $111 a month. And if you pay annually, you get um, a discount off of that. Um, and there's a promotion that's happening right now. So uh, look in the show notes and join the discovery call in order to get the link to that promo. And uh, what happens in level three is it, the angel membership is my place to play. It's my place to have fun and to really enjoy healing and, and community with other like-minded souls. Because you have to remember when I started um, my spiritual awakening, it wasn't that long ago in 2015, there weren't things like this out there. And I didn't have other people to connect with. I was having all of these different experiences. And I was like, what is happening to me? And I wish there was a community that I could have connected with other people like me and understood more. So that is what I've created for you here, is that itself. Um, you have community. We have different live events almost every single week. We have new intuitive development circles every month. We have, and those intuitive development circles will help you um, really come into a higher vibration, really start to get more in tune with your own inner wisdom. We have small groups where you're gonna connect with other people. Uh, we have a live event with me every month and I'm bringing in different speakers too where we're gonna have really fun conversations. Um, we're doing all of this. And then there's also pre-recorded information. So other memberships, some of them out there don't come out with new content every year. We do. We have new content. If you want to listen to old stuff, it's there for you to listen to. If you want to dive into the new stuff, again, this entire year, the angels are calling it a year of ease and healing the whole you mind body and spirit so those are the topics that we're diving into and the entire curriculum this year is you trying different healing modalities you working with these healing modalities that we're bringing to you every week that are bringing you closer to your angels bringing you closer to your loved ones on the other side having you get messages for yourself from your spirit team and again, the angel membership is not the place for you to learn how to do this work and become a healer. This is all about your personal growth. This is about your awakening. This is about you coming into your own intuition and knowing how to listen to your intuition for yourself in your everyday life and get those messages for yourself in your everyday life. It's so much fun. And this is where life just becomes so much more 
ease-filled and peace-filled and love-filled, and you just feel that joy in the thread of everyday life. So that is level three. And then level four um, is more so for students have gone through my angel Reiki school and they really want to go deeper. So that is for them. Um, but uh, we're going to go on this journey together next year, friends, and it's going to be a ton of fun. I don't want you to miss out. So friends, if all that we've talked about today and all that we've dived in today, if this really sounds interesting to you, if you really feel called, if you feel like your angels are pushing you towards the angel membership, it's because they are. Because in life, we can't be on track without help from other people. And so people have come through the angel membership, gotten what they've needed, and they are so on their life plan right now. They feel so much peace because they know their purpose because they feel that spiritual health and they're living it in their every day. So if this is resonating with you, uh, go on over to theangelmedium.com and you can look at the angel membership page, join today. You can also go to the show notes below. You can book a discovery call with me. Um, and in that discovery call, I'll tell you all about the membership. Doesn't matter if you're a monthly member or an annual member, you get all of the same things in the membership. It's just that I'm able to give some more perks to the annual members um, in addition. So I explain that all in the discovery call too and in the show notes. Friends, I love you. I hope that you love these aha moments and um, yay. Thank you for being here with me. I love you so much. I hope you feel it in your heart chakra right now. I am sending you so, so much love. I love you a ton. Your angels love you. Your spirit team loves you. And your loved ones on the other side, they're all bringing through messages to you here today. Listen to those and um, and follow them. They're, they're leading you where you need to go. All my love. Bye, friends beautiful soul thank you so much for joining me today my name's julie you know i'm all about connecting you with messages from your angels and loved ones on the other side if you've been listening today and you're super excited and just have to know which angels are around you right now who's connecting with you and what messages they have for you go to theangelmedium.com register for a session you can do a reading with me or a member of my team and we can help you in making sure that your angels are doing the very best they can to support you and guide you to your best life if this sounds like you virtual sessions they're only offered on my website sign up today and if you're the person who's really excited, you can sign up for my Angel Reiki School to become a certified angel messenger. That's for the healers among us who feel called to grow their intuition to the max and serve humanity with their gifts. You'll learn Reiki, mediumship, how to deliver angel messages, and how to get clients. That's the Angel Reiki School at theangelmedium.com or DM me on Instagram at Angel Podcast with any questions. Before you go, connect with your angels by placing your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath. Imagine a doorway filled with God's unconditional love is right in front of you. Step into that love and feel it as it fills your body, chakras, and auric field. Now ask your angels, what would you have me know today? And open yourself to the positive, loving messages they have just for you. <laughs>